Hello everybody and welcome to Andrew Rant's video series where I stand upon my metaphorical soapbox pedestal of the world and just bitch and complain about everything that drives me up a tree, boils my piss and, well, just angers and annoys me. And today's topic, if you haven't seen it from the title, uh, is that I really wish people would stop blaming millennials for every single problem. Here's a news flash for you, and I want to stress this. They're just like everybody else. No, no, I'm dead serious. They're just like everybody else. They have the same problems that you have, only their problems are basically looked upon by a microscope of everything. The media, the older generations, all of it just scrutinizes them because they feel they're not doing enough to pull their weight. Well, here's my question. What do they want them to do? Well, they want them to get out and work at jobs. They want them to do 50, 60 hour work weeks. They want them to get off their butts and start doing stuff. They don't consider YouTube or eBay a career. They don't consider selling things online a career, creating stories, doing Patreon, doing GoFundMe pages, creating apps. They don't consider any of that careers. They consider those wasting time. To, these, to this generation, a lot of that is considered screwing around. Millennials, on the other hand, see this as a life source, a lifestyle, and a way of life. I'm going to create YouTube videos and monetize them and make some money off of the ads. I'm going to write stories and have a Patreon page. I'm going to do a Kickstarter fund for something that I want to build and then sell to the world or give out to the world or help the world. Or I want to do a GoFundMe page to help people. Or I want to do this and that. And a lot of people nowadays, the older generations, are just considering millennials to basically be lazy. They're not lazy. They're using their own minds and their own ideas to come up with something that's way better than the solution that's already presented to them. Now, normally, I would not be exactly too happy or thrilled, but let's face it. Everything in the world changes. If it stayed the same, we would still be living in the dinosaur era. If the asteroid or whatever caused their extinction wouldn't have come, we'd be living with dinosaurs. If history wouldn't have been the way it was, well, we in the U.S. would still be under British rule. Or in all honesty, Pangea or whatever the continent was before it broke apart, shifted, or whatever happened would still exist. The thing is... History is history. It's supposed to be. And the future is what we make of it. So why is it that millennials get picked on so much for wanting to make their future that they're coming into better? Because they're not doing it the way the generation before them did. I constantly hear it all the time. I have older friends that are in their 40s and 50s and they're going... Oh, well, the millennials are to blame. They don't want to do anything. They think everything should be handed to them on a silver platter. Really? I remember Dorkly doing a cartoon strip. They do a lot of good ones, and they just seem to hit the right tension and the right nerve at the right time. And this was one of uh, expectations versus reality for millennials. You have them holding their hands out and people giving them laptops, jobs, and money. Then in reality, well, that was the expectation. In reality, you see them holding their hand out asking, could I at least have food? Millennials work way harder than people think. A lot of the younger generation actually are starting to get jobs to help make ends meet. They need to be able to pay off their student loans because the careers that they decided to go to school for no longer exist. It's the same problem the generation before them had when machines started taking over everything. I mean, let's face it. Everybody used to build cars by hand until the machines came in and automated systems started making human workers obsolete. It's only a matter of time, but they're facing the same problems that 
your generation and past generations face beforehand. And that is, they're facing an uncertain future because careers that they thought would exist no longer exist for them. Take me for example. I went for an associate's degree in website designing. Do I have a job in website designing? No. No, I don't. I work at a retail store. I don't have a job in what my degree is worth. My degree is worthless because of online sites that already do half the work for you. Now, sure, I could apply for one of those, and God knows I've tried. However, you need experience to get those, and I don't have the experience because I can't find a job to get the experience. No, no, not kidding. Because you can't just create sites on your own and host them because hosting them takes money. Which leads me back to part A, which then throws me right back to where I was and throws me into a catch-22. Which is what a lot of millennials find themselves in nowadays. Especially the fact that they have to pay student loans. Those aren't cheap. And they keep getting worse and worse and worse. Student loans are just something that will always haunt you to the day you die. And possibly even 10, 15 years after that. Honestly, millennials are just like everybody else. And they should be treated just like everybody else. Stop blaming them for all the problems. Just because you're too lazy to accept the fact that your generation screwed up or people in your generation screwed up does not mean or give you the right to start bad-mouthing the next generation saying it's their fault. Well, it's their fault that we have this problem because they didn't want to help. It's their fault that our education system sucks because they don't want to learn anything. It's their fault. It's their fault. It's their fault. It's not their fault. Stop blaming millennials. They're just like you. So all you're doing is blaming yourself. And in the end, that's what you should be doing, instead of blaming them. I'm Andrew Rhodes, and this has been Andrew Rants.